Are you okay? My stupid face ID won't work with this stupid mask on. Use your Apple Watch. Uh, what? <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to T4T. It is time for tech. My name is Blake. And I'm Kevin. And you might be one of the millions of people around the world doing our part wearing our masks every single day. But if you're an iPhone user like myself, Face ID is the worst thing right now. It sucks. And by the end of this video, you're gonna be able to unlock your iPhone no matter what is on your face mm. while maintaining privacy and security, which we'll get into more later on your okay. iPhone. So let's get started with these three easy steps. Okay, so step one. So without any of this, this process, process. So without any of this, this process will not work. Okay, so the first thing we need to establish is that you have an iPhone 10 or higher, so you can use Face ID. Just make sure the software is updated to iOS 14.5 or later. Right, and the second thing you're gonna need is an Apple Watch 3 or newer with watchOS 7.4 installed. Okay, so the second thing we need to do on our journey to Face ID freedom is to set a passcode on our Apple Watches. Well, why is that so important? Well, Apple's number one priority is security. So having the device that will be unlocking your phone also protected with a passcode will protect you in the long run if anyone tries to access your information. But stick to the end because we'll actually go over how secure this actually is and how Apple gives us some tools that we can use to make sure that we stay secure. Okay, so step three and the last thing we need to do is actually enable this on our iPhones itself. But how do we do that, Blake? Well, it's easy. All we need to do is go into our settings and scroll down to... Am I blind? I can't see it. <laughs> okay, I found it. So face ID and passcode. Tap on that and type in your passcode. All right, and so once you're on that main screen, go ahead, scroll down until you see unlock with Apple Watch and we just toggle that on. Hit turn on. All right, so let's go ahead and test this to make sure that it works. So I got my mask here. Let's put it on. How do I look, Kev? Like a dork. Boom. Hey. hey. It worked. Hmm. What else can we try? Yes. Yes. Come on. Oh. You alright, bro? Oh my. It hurts. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Kev. Okay, so how is this working and is it safe and secure? Okay, so what's happening is when you go to use your iPhone and use Face ID, when it can't register your face properly, it's gonna notice that you're wearing a mask. It's gonna look for your Apple Watch, see if it's in range, see if it's unlocked, and then use that to authenticate that you are the person unlocking your phone. And once your phone has been unlocked, your Apple Watch will actually notify you on the screen saying your phone's been unlocked by your device. But how secure is this? So this will actually only work for unlocking your phone and that's it. So once you're inside your phone, any other apps such as LastPass, Apple Pay, this won't work. This only works just to unlock your phone. Once you're inside, you're gonna have to use the passcodes and passwords. It's amazing what you can do with all these Apple products. Yeah, absolutely. Like this video right here where we show you how to level up your Zoom calls and your streams using your iPhone.